Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna install an easy, do-it-yourself sprinkler system in this garden that you could easily replicate at home. It's gonna look good, and it's gonna make our lives a little easier. Stay tuned, you're watching the shop. The heart of this system is gonna be two Melner Minimax turbo drive sprinklers. One to cover the left side of the garden, and one to cover the right. Now, when it comes to lawn sprinklers, I think these guys are awesome. They have a lot of adjustability, making them perfect for all kinds of applications. If you want to learn more about the Mini Max, check out my review, which I'll link in the description box. Now the first thing we're going to do is stake this sucker in the ground where we think it should be. Then turn on the water and make sure it's going to hit everything that we want it to. Okay, so after making a few adjustments, this sprinkler looks good. Now we'll go ahead and set the right side. In addition to the hose reel, we're going to be adding two more hoses to this spigot. So to clean things up a little, I'm going to add a four valve manifold for a better look and a little easier operation. And we're going to start by connecting the hose reel on the far end. Now there's one more thing we're going to add to this system to make it a lot more convenient, and that's a timer. Now there's different types of these you can buy, but the ones I like to use are from Rainpoint. They're reliable and easy to operate. After adding batteries, you simply turn the dial and adjust the settings with the buttons. With the timer set, we can connect them to the manifold and start prepping the hose. Now I'm just using some old hose that I've had lying around that I'm going to have to cut to size. But first, I'm going to connect the fitting that threads into the timer. Then I'll stretch the hose out and cut it to rough length. Guys, the last thing that I want is for somebody to look down at this garden and see hoses running all over the place. So to clean it up, I'm going to separate the mulch along the hose's path stake down the hose, and cover it back up. Then we can cut the hose to its final length. Install the other fitting on the sprinkler. Slip on the hose, and then tighten down the clamp. Now that everything's assembled, let's go ahead and check for leaks. Okay, now everything looks good on this end, so we're going to cover the remaining hose, repeat the exact same process to hook up the other sprinkler, then call this whole project a wrap. Guys, these are the kinds of home improvement projects that I love doing. It's simple, looks good, useful, and can save you time making your life a little easier. Our hose does go over the walkway, but it's tucked up close to the step and hardly noticeable. Now we have our timer set, so when the first one goes off, the second one comes on soon after. This keeps the pressure at each sprinkler to the max, and if the forecast is calling for rain, well, we can just turn the sprinklers off till it dries back up. So thanks for stopping by the shop today for this easy sprinkler system install, and if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps this channel. Hey guys, take care, and I'll see you next time back at the shop.